Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and I'm here to give you a lesson on subtraction. I know, you're thinking, wait a minute, shouldn't a sixth grader know how to subtract? Well, many of my students don't, and it keeps them from being successful in middle school, and that means high school, and that means forever. So what you need to do is pay close attention to this. It shouldn't take you long to pick it up. First thing, let's look at this problem here. Yep, you can do this. You can do it because the top number is larger than the bottom number, so you can subtract. 5 minus 2 is 3. But look at this one. This one you cannot do. When you subtract, the top number must be larger or the same as the bottom number. You can't take 5 away if you only have 2. If the top number is smaller, you must borrow. You can only borrow from your neighbor. So the ones place value can only borrow from the tens place value. And the tens can only borrow from the hundreds. And if there's a decimal point, and let's say there's the tens or the hundreds, again, it can only borrow from the place value directly in front of it. Okay, let's try one of these problems. First thing you do is don't look at anything but the place value that you're working with. And you ask yourself, can I take two away from five? Yes, you absolutely can. And I'm gonna want, want you to try something. Instead of trying to memorize your subtraction, addition and subtraction facts, I want you to count up. I want you to go ahead and I want you to use your closed fingers, your fists, as the number two, and I want you to count up to five. So there's two, there's three, there's four, and there's five. It took me three fingers to get up to five. Okay, now I'm gonna move it over, and I'm gonna look at the tens place value. Can I do that? Is the top number bigger or equal to that number? No, it is not. When it's not, you need to borrow from your neighbor. So you go over to the hundreds place value, and you can see there's something to borrow. When you borrow, you mark the number out and you make him one less. The number that you borrow, you put in front of the one behind it. Don't mark him out, just put the one in front of it. And now, you're gonna count up from five until 11. Remember, your fist is five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And it took you six fingers to get there. Okay, now let's look at the next place value, the hundreds. Can I do that? Yep, the top number is bigger than the small, small one, so I can. Again, make your fist the bottom number, which is four, and count up to eight. So I have four five, six, seven, and eight, and it took four fingers to do that. Okay, now we're gonna try this one. I want you to cover up everything but the place value you're working with. Is the top number bigger than the bottom? No, it's not, you need to borrow. So I'm gonna move it over and I'm only gonna look at its neighbor. Can I borrow from him? No, you can't. Let's see if he can borrow. He goes to his neighbor. Can he borrow? Yes. You can borrow from the seven. You mark him out, you make him one less, which is a six. The one that you borrowed goes directly behind the number, making this one 10. Let's go back to the one's place value. Now can he borrow? Yes, he can. You mark out the 10, make it a nine, and the one goes directly behind it. And now we're gonna do our count up from eight to 14. Your fist is eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So that was six. So I move it over and I look at the tens place value. I'm gonna go ahead and cover that up because I don't need it right now. Is the top number bigger than the bottom? Yes, it is. So I'm gonna make my fist be six and I'm gonna count up to nine. Six, seven, eight, and nine. And it took three fingers to get there. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to the next place value, and I look at it. 
Is the top number bigger than the bottom? Yes, it is. So again, I'm going to make my fist be 2. And I'm going to count up to 6. So I have 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And it took 4 fingers to get there. This one has, it ends in two zeros. We're going to go ahead and cover them up and only look at the ones place value. Okay, I'll look at it. Can I do that? No, the top is not bigger than the bottom. So you look at your neighbor. Can you borrow? No, you can't. So this one looks at his neighbor. Can he borrow from the five? Yes, he can. You mark out the five, make him a four, and the one goes directly behind it and makes this guy a 10. Well, you go back to the one's place value. Now can he borrow? Yes, he can. So you mark out the 10 and make him a nine, put the one behind it, and now you're going to count up from 6 until you get to 10. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. That was 4. Now let's go to the next place value. Can I do that? 9 is bigger than 3. Yes, I can. My fist is going to be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and it took me 6 fingers to get there. Look at the next place value. Can I do that? Yes, I can. So now you're going to make your fist be 0. I'm sorry, your fist is 1, 2, 3, and 4, and it took you 3 fingers to get there. Good job.